Hi hey everyone, today we're going to talk about how we can use Cheerio and Axios to do some web scraping. Web scraping is a great alternative to uh, an API request if an API hasn't been built for it. So um, great thing about APIs are is it makes is it makes all that information really easy to get. Uh, when you web scrape, you're doing it in a different way. Whereas you're grabbing an HTML uh, page from the internet, you're grabbing their HTTP address, and you are using that HTTP address to uh, get all the information from it. Um, and so we need to install Axios and Cheerio into our node environment and open up VS Code. Let's go ahead and make this full screen and see what we get. Let's get into our app.js and I need to require Cheerio and I'm also gonna need to require Axios. So let's get Cheerio in here first and bring in Axios. All right, now we just need to open up Chrome and find our target. So I've got a website that I really like called ARS Technica, one of my favorite websites ever. Um, for like tech related news. So let's get into the tech field and these are all the the articles I'm gonna want to grab. So first I need the HTTP address and I can start up Axios by saying axios.get and I'm gonna put that HTTP address in a string and that URL data that comes back, let's call it URL response, open up the arrow function and uh, this is when, uh, right now, if I were just to console log the URL response, we'd see a bunch of HTML. Um, I need to use Cheerio to unpack that because Cheerio is going to give me a whole lot of tools to um, then kind of parse through that data. So I use Cheerio load and inside parentheses URL response dot data. And that gives me a lot of tools. Let's inspect this and try to find what we're looking for here. So when I open up my dev tools, I can see everything I need is inside a class called article. So that's where we start. I'm gonna start with the dollar sign because we're using Cheerio and then parentheses and I enter in li.article, so dot for the class. If it was a, an ID, I would need a pound sign, but that wouldn't make sense for what we're trying to do now. And since there's multiple articles, I'll use the dot each to grab I for index and element. And for each of those, oh, well, let's fix this little typo that I got. And I think I just need to add my brackets. There we go. Great. All right. And now this element, so that's capturing the whole, that's got the object, that's got the information that I need inside it. I need to grab the link inside that element. So we're going to have to do some detective work and see where we find that. Let's open up this list item and we can see this anchor tag with a class of overlay. So let's start there with this find method. And I'm gonna use the AA for anchor tag. It's the class, so class overlay. And I need to grab this attribute, this href attribute, because that's got the link that I need. And let's test that. And yeah, that confirms it. That's definitely the link that we're gonna need so I'm going to say dot attr for attribute and inside here I'm just going to declare the href. So this should be our link. Let's just console log this out and see what we get. So I run this with node app.js and here are the links. Let's follow them to make sure that they work. So I'm going to follow a couple here. This one first. This one as well. Okay, so it looks like we have the functionality that we need. Um, it's one thing I can't help but notice is it's not very readable inside this console. Uh, one of the things we could do, like definitely we should look into getting the header, the headline, just so we know what we're following. And we should also, there's something we can do about the coloring in here as well, something I like to do. So let's uh, bring in colors, which is something we haven't installed yet. So const colors require colors. And now we need to install it for we can do anything with it. So that's a quick installation. Great. And now let's go ahead and give this the color uh, cyan, like a light blue kind of color. All right. Uh, and let's put like a like a bar underneath it just to separate the data, separate each of these links. 
again, just to make it readable. If this is a tool we're going to use, we're going to want to, we don't want it to stab us in the eyes every time we use it. All right, uh, let's run that. All right, we're getting better. Uh, but let's go back to that other problem that we have, which is we need to get the head headline from each of these. So like the subjects, so we know where these links are going. And I'm guessing it's going to be in header here. There, that's an H2, so that's a good sign. Um, so that looks like a subject, and that could be something that we could grab, but I really just want the, the whole headline, the headline here. So that's pretty descriptive right here. It looks like it's H2 inside an A, and we have some text in there. So let's go ahead and put, create a constant called header, and pretty much the same like we did with the article. Let, we're grabbing the element, uh, and I am going to find inside here this anchor tag. There's no class associated with it, so maybe we don't even need to worry about it. Uh, let's make sure that that's the right one anyways. So, yep, and now let's just grab the text. And maybe we can assume that this is going to work. Let's console log the data just to see what happens. I'm just going to copy, paste this up here. I'm going to need to change link to header, so let's do that. Oh, and we don't want both of them the same color, so let's make this one green instead. All right, let's run it node app.js and well that's interesting uh it looks like we got bit of the header there but there's some extra data kind of thrown into the mix as well which it looks like some comment data so maybe it grabbed a couple more things than we need so let's just split this right now and see if we can split up that data and now it comes back as undefined um, you know what? It's because split is going to return an array, and I'm using the color modules, which isn't going to work with an array. It's not going to be able to attach that color. So let's uh, get rid of that. And okay, we're getting closer. It looks like this separate, we're real close to the information. It looks like that's in the way. So let's just paste that in front of split just to see if we can kind of separate that data and just get specifically what we want. Now we got the array, that comma is a great sign. So we need that first item in the array. There we are. Let's run it again and looks good, but let's change it back to green because that's what we wanted to begin with. And I think this pretty much wraps it up. After we run this, I'm expecting it to work. And that is our app. And that's scraping in a nutshell. It's, it's pretty easy, super useful when an API isn't available. Um, if it's on the internet, it can be yours.